Hey everybody, let's try a few examples using these circuit variables. So if you take a look at this problem, it's basically saying what's the power flowing from A to B. So it boils down to, it was labeled like this. So voltage, if you look at A, it's like voltage is this way, right? Let me just draw them separately. Like here's A, and then the terminal looks like this, right? So voltage is this way, but current is this way. This way? I mean, let me draw it like this. This way, right? Which, I mean, let me draw it like this. Like it's flowing like that. So is this positive or negative if you want to compute power? Right? It, it looks like, I'll call this terminal 1 and terminal 2. Voltage drop is positive from 1 to 2, but look at the current. Current is positive from 2 to 1. So based on this, power is negative Vi. Let's take a look at B. So the way B is labeled, voltage is this way. But right, see how current is like that? So that means current is this way, which is this way and like this, right? So if you look at it for B, voltage is positive this way, drop from one to two, and current is positive this way from 1 to 2. So they're same direction, right? So for B, power is Vi. Right? And then you just plug in the numbers as is, right? Just put these values there. You can just see that they're exactly, they're just opposite of each other, right? Which makes sense because what whatever leaves here goes there, right? So. If this number is positive, this number is negative. If this delivers power, this absorbs the power. So for example, part A, right, like I is six, so like for part A, like here, VI, right, so 30 volts, six amps. So for part A, this is positive, and then this would be negative, right? Part B, negative 8, negative 20, so then still, right, for part B, negative 20 volts, negative 8 amps. So then for part B, this would be positive, right, this would be negative. For part C, right, that's positive, that's negative, so then when you plug in the numbers, part C would be this would be negative and this would be positive. And part D, right, negative, positive, so same story. This would be negative, this would be positive. So really it boils down to you figure out, like, based on how the coordinates are chosen, which way is positive for V and for I. Okay, let's try this. So in this one, voltage and current are both given as functions of time, and then now find the power, so then you know that power is Vi, so you just, it's kind of a mess mathematically, right? Multiply these two things together, and then evaluate at 625 microsecond, right? Just plug in the values over there, and then that's it. And part B, energy, hmm, how do you get energy? Power is energy per time. So then if you want energy, you have to do you know, separation of variables, right? Move dt on that side, like this, and then go like this. Right, so you would have to multiply these two things together, then integrate over time. And then we're given the 
limits of integration, right, from 0 to 625. Okay, and then part C, total energy. Okay, so for part C, instead of going from 0 to 625 microseconds, you go T from 0 to infinity, right? Just the total energy. These are exponential functions, right? So they're, they're converging, so. Okay, you can define as T goes to infinity. Okay, one more. Similar, we're given voltage and current as a function of time, but this time we want where the power is maximum. Okay, so we know how to get power. And let's, let's say it looks like something like this. Where's the maximum? Right here. How do you get the maximum? Right, that's the slope is zero right here, right, for this tangent. So that's exactly like saying set the time derivative zero, right, and then that's an equation, and then solve for time. Okay, and then that's part A, right? Got the time. And then for part B, what is the maximum? So for part B, take that and plug it back in there, right? Power. And then part C, uh, just like the last one, right? Total energy. Just power is energy per time, so then just do separation of variables from zero to infinity. Okay, so give these a try. I'll see you on the next video.